This week's video is sponsored by Vero. True Social. Well, good morning, and look what we've been greeted by this morning. It snowed yesterday afternoon about three o'clock, and to be honest, I didn't expect it to hang around. And we've come down to the lakes today to uh, go up Cat Bells, because it's somewhere I haven't really explored before for photography. I've been here years ago, right up onto the summit, but I've never actually explored it for photography. So come here today, and it looks absolutely spectacular. A bit of a winter wonderland this morning. So we're going to make our way up to the top, get an overview because there's lots of little scenes I can see that I can pick out in the distance, lots of clouds above mountain peaks and what have you. We'll see what we can find. I'll get you to the back of the camera and walk you through when I find something. So we've got to the first section where there's, there's another section to go further up and I think we're going to have a look up there after but just got to this first rise and there's some lovely mountains off in the distance there and there's some sort of darker clouds behind them and it contrasts really well against each other so I've got a shot set up I'll just press a card on the back of here so you can see what I'm looking at so what you should see is that this, I've got three peaks, so there's sort of three layers to the image if you like. It's a crop panel again, I know, just for a change. <laughs> and uh, I've got the focus point set on, just have a look. That middle peak, the middle peak that's just there, I've got the focus point set on that and it's on the lower third. So what I've tried to do is get almost as much sky as there is mountains in so to try and balance the image out top and bottom. Um, I've tried to eliminate anything that's down in the valley below because it looks quite messy. You know, the, the problem you tend to get when there's been a snowfall but there's not quite been enough snow is that you, it kind of looks messy. Everything's sticking through the snow and it, it breaks the scene up. It, you haven't got like clean lines of snow and it does look a bit messy. So what I tried to do in that sort of scenario is eliminate as much of the ground that you can see as possible. And what I'm doing is focusing just on the mountain peaks themselves. So, as I say, got that middle peak just picked out in the centre of the frame there. I'm overexposing it by getting on for a stop. And the reason for that is, is if I don't overexpose it just that slight bit, the snow's going to look grey. It's going to look slightly grey. But you'll be able to see on the histogram, if you see there, on a shot that I've previously taken, if I bring it up, what you'll actually see... I bring the, the histogram up it's not clipping and I've overexposed that by nearly a stop it's not clipping to the right there at all it's it's further off to the left so I can, I've got plenty of room to play with there the thing to check is is that try overexposing it slightly bring up your histogram make sure it's not clipping and as long as nothing's clipping you can bring it back in post so I'm just going to grab this shot I'm just waiting for a little bit of light, but um, it's coming and going. We're getting, the sun's just above us here and it's coming in and out. And when we get a little bit of light on those peaks, I'll grab the shot.
Right, so I'm basically in the same place. I'm just going to bring this up. Hang on a second. Get this back on screen. It's disappeared for some reason. Oh, there we go. Right, I'll click record again. Now I haven't moved, I've just spinned round basically and I'm focusing more on the mountains in the background now because there's actually a, a lovely bit of contrast between the dark sky behind and the uh, and the snow-capped peaks again in the distance. And again what I've got is, is three layers to the image. I've got a peak on the left, one in the middle and one to the right. Now, albeit that it's kind of sloping down to the right slightly, which isn't ideal, but it's, it's what I've got. Um, I just really like the contrast there and the, the fact that there's you've got dark clouds and then you've actually got white clouds in amongst it and those are really standing out quite nicely. Um, what you should be able to see if I bring this up now is that I've got it levelled and again I'm focusing on a central peak so I've picked the middle out of the three. Um, and again what I've done is eliminated the valley floor because it's quite messy down there there's lots of trees that aren't covered in snow and they're standing out quite a bit and it's looking a little messy as it is I've already got I think it's gorse bushes or something on one of the hillsides that stand out quite a bit but there's nothing I can really do about that it's all leveled I'm at about an 80th of a second f16 ISO 125 and I'm overexposing it slightly again so that that snow doesn't go like a grey colour and I'll grab this shot Now a word from our sponsors, Vero. With a beautiful clean feed and the ability to post full resolution images that are displayed in the format that you created them, your work will never have looked this good online. This is a fantastic growing community of like-minded people that are here to create, interact and be present. Your feed will only show you the people you follow, so no annoying ads or algorithms telling you what you should see. And this is one of the main benefits of this platform. You are in control all the way. What's more, you're not just limited to images you can post. You can post links, music, movie and TV, books and places. So download now and join us on Vero. So very much a case of waiting around today. We have got sun above us here and we are just waiting for the light to kind of appear and give us some sort of light on the hills. There's, where we've positioned ourselves here, we've kind of got 360 views all the way around. And I'm finding I'm actually using the longer lens more and more these days. Once upon a time, the, the 16 to 35, which I had then, was never off my camera. Um, I was always had a wide angle lens on my camera. And nowadays, I seem to be heading more towards the telephoto. Simply because it's given me more options, especially when I'm coming to places like this and you've got, kind of gained a bit of elevation, you've got that height, and you can just spend time in an area and just watch the light happening around you. Um, and it's very much a case of shooting for the conditions, shooting for the light that you're given. And that's what I like about this kind of photography. It's, it's more reactive photography. You're waiting for things to happen. You've positioned yourself somewhere that you know there's, there's potential shots, and it's just a waiting game then. Um, so we just get ourselves set up, got the teas and coffees on we've got ourselves prepared and then we're just going to sit around and wait for the light to develop and hopefully when it does i'll get you to the back of the camera and walk you through what i'm looking at right so we've reached the top now and hopefully what i should be able to show you if i press record on here it's really bad to see whether that's recording is now so what you should see is I've got a square crop framed up and I'm focusing on the mountains off in the distance there with a little bit of cloud along the top and there's a intersection in piece of valley 
and I've got it framed up round there so I'm pretty much in the central third I've got that V section in that central third there um, at um, a shutter speed of 200 F16 ISO 320 to get that and I'm overexposing it slightly for the snow again really simple shot nothing technical about it at all and this is how it turned out So I'll just show you what I've got on the back of the screen now, if I press record It's really hard to see on the back of this screen at the minute because it's so bright out here But So you've got those mountains that I showed you just off in the distance there and we're waiting for those to kind of reveal amongst that cloud So you can see along the bottom section of my image there just ever so faintly there's the cloud moving along the lower section just on that bottom third and then the mountains kind of in the middle it's kind of covered up a little bit from what it was before but just waiting for that to kind of reveal itself a bit more and, and add a bit more interest to the frame obviously i can't even catch focus at the minute because it's oh there we go um but yeah just waiting for a little bit of interest there i'm at uh, 250 shutter speed f16 and 320 iso to get that shot and overexposing ever so slightly for the uh, for the snow again I don't want that to kind of go muddy and, and mushy looking so overexposing it slightly and just checking the histogram to make sure it's not blowing out anywhere and when the light turns out great this is the shot So guys, you can see the weather's now come in, so we've kind of made the decision to pull down off this mountain because there's nothing really happening. We've, we've not got no light at all. It's so flat, there's nothing to work with. And this is actually, although we've getting little bits of snow now, it's kind of turning to rain and lots of the snow is actually starting to disappear off the hills. And for me, when that happens, the whole scene just becomes really messy and uh, really hard to work with so made the decision to pull down off the hill and then we'll see what we can find when we get down to the bottom see if there's anything to work with um, it may be the end of the video I'm not sure yet but hopefully if we get down below we'll maybe be able to find something down there so guys we've actually made it down now and it's actually uh, raining now so the, the weather's come right in and the lights just so flat there's nothing we can really do with it and it's, it's quite a challenge sometimes when you're out shooting in flat light. I mean, most of the day today, even though we've had these snowy conditions, it's been flat light. And uh, it's really easy to give up in those conditions. But I believe if you can use a longer focal length, use a longer lens and pick out the bits of light as they're happening around you, you can still come away with something that's going to work for you as an image. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you have. Look forward to seeing you again on the next video. Take care. Bye bye.